Hi, I'm Mike with Living Acts 29 Church, and I'm continuing our reading of the Word by reading Genesis chapter 18. The Lord appeared to Abraham at the Oaks of Mamre while he was sitting at the entrance of his tent during the heat of the day. <clears throat> he looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to meet them, bowed to the ground, and said, My Lord, if I have found favor with you, please do not go past your servant. Let a little water be brought that you may wash your feet and rest under the tree. I will bring a bit of bread so that you may strengthen yourselves. This is why you have passed your servant's way. Later, you can continue on. <clears throat> yes, he replied. Yes, they replied. Do as you have said. <clears throat> so Abraham hurried into the tent and said to Sarah, Quick, knead three measures of fine flour and make bread. Abraham ran to the herd and got a tender choice calf. He gave it to a young man who hurried to prepare it. Then Abraham took curds, the milk, as well as the calf that he had prepared, and set them before the men. He served them as they ate under the tree. Where is your wife, Sarah? They asked him. There, in the tent, he answered. The Lord said, I will continue to come back to you in about a year's time, and your wife, Sarah, will have a son. Now Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent behind him. Sarah and Abraham were old and getting up in years. Sarah had passed the age of childbearing. She said, so she laughed to herself, after I am worn out and my Lord is old, will I have delight? But the Lord asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh saying, can I really have a baby when I'm old? Is anything impossible for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will come back to you. In about a year, she will have a son. Sarah denied it. I did not laugh, she said, because she was afraid. But he replied, no, you did laugh. The men got up from there and looked out over Sodom. And Abraham was talking with them to see them off. Then the Lord said, should I hide what I am about to do from Abraham? Abraham is to become a great and powerful nation, and all the nations over the earth will be blessed through him. For I have chosen him so that he will command his children and his house after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just. This is how the Lord will fulfill to Abraham what he promised him. Then the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is immense. And their sin is extremely serious. I will go down to see if what they have done justifies the cry that has come up to me. If not, I will find out. The men turned from there and went downward, meant to, went toward Sodom, while Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Abraham stepped forward and said, Will you really sweep away the righteous with the wicked? What if there are fifty righteous people in the city? Will you really sweep it away instead of sparing people for the sake of the 50 righteous who are in it? You cannot possibly do such a thing to kill the righteous with the wicked, treating the righteous and the wicked alike. You cannot possibly do that. Won't the judge of the whole earth do what is just? The Lord said, If I have found 50 righteous people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Then Abraham answered, Since I have ventured to speak to my Lord, even though I am dust and ashes, suppose fifty righteous people lack five. Will you destroy the whole city for the lack of five? He replied, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five there. Then he spoke to him again, Suppose forty are found there. He answered, I will not do it on account of forty. Then he said, Let my Lord not be angry, and I will speak further. Suppose thirty are found there. He answered, I will not do it if I found thirty there. Then he said, Since I have ventured to speak to my Lord, suppose twenty are found there. 
He replied, I will not destroy it on account of twenty. Then he said, Let my Lord not be angry, and I will speak one more time. Suppose ten are found there. He answered, I will not destroy it on account of ten. When the Lord had finished speaking with Abraham, he departed, and Abraham returned to his place. Thank you for joining me. Please come back tomorrow for another reading.